It was the world's first nature documentary to be filmed in HD, and possibly the goriest. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 bloodiest moments from planet Earth. It's now becoming clear that great whites migrate thousands of miles across the oceans to harvest seasonal abundances in different seas. For this list, we're looking at the goriest moments this 11-episode series had to offer. These moments might not always be explicitly bloody, but they are guaranteed to be shocking and of a violent nature. Unfortunately, we have to say that animals were harmed in the making of this series. The skewers can survive further south than any other predator by exploiting the petrel's desperate need for bare rock. Number 10. African hunting dogs catch an impala. Hunting dogs. So who's hungry? These African hunting dogs certainly are. But if you've got a rare steak dinner in your near future, you might want to bookmark this video for later. These are now among the rarest of Africa's mammals, but they're nonetheless the continent's most efficient predators. Thanks to some dynamic camera work and David Attenborough's masterful narration, this already tense hunt is transformed into a compelling tale of survival. And, like many other great stories, it ends with a twist. The dogs know their prey must come out or drown. Now it's a waiting game. Just when the central impala seems to have earned itself a stay of execution, we discover that one of its kin has fallen off camera. The pack are calling. An overhead shot shows us the dead impala, with its gut torn open for all to see. The dogs gather around their fallen prey, and rip into their impala tartar with gusto. It's a bittersweet ending that doesn't shy away from the gory details. And this impala is reprieved. Number 9. Piranha Feeding Frenzy Over 300 species breed here, including red-bellied piranha. River tigers, spectacled caimans, and piranhas. Oh my. Forget about the forests of Oz, it's the animal menagerie in the Pantanal wetland in Brazil that you should really be worried about. During the wet season, these waters become a veritable hotbed of carnivorous aquatic life. The commotion attracts Dorado, known locally as the River Tiger. The Dorado, or River Tiger, snatches other fish with explosive bursts of speed, while caimans cruise the shores for larger prey. Spectacle caiman linger below, waiting for a meal to fall out of the sky. They're both fearsome predators in their own right, but piranhas, swarming as a group, bloody the waters like few other species can. They create a cornucopia of carnage. Piranhas have received particularly outlandish treatment thanks to the piranha film franchise. But as this Planet Earth moment shows us, exaggeration is totally unnecessary. Piranhas are plenty terrifying already. Piranha can strip a fish to the bone in minutes. Number 8. Grizzly Bears Catching Salmon From famine to feast, he's spoilt for choice. Most people have seen a fish being gutted before. It's pretty gross, but it's a quick procedure, especially compared to other forms of animal butchery out there. This Canadian bear is very special. He's learnt to dive for his dinner. However, while grizzly bears have undeniably sharp claws, they don't typically use them to make a clean incision, remove the guts, and then fry up the salmon with lemon and dill. They eat the fish whole. And while their fishing methods are quite captivating, their preferred method of preparing salmon, whole, raw, and live, is nauseatingly reminiscent of dining with Gollum. Sneakle. Master is here. Every aspect of this scene is fascinating, and the bears are honestly pretty cute. But when they finally dig in, it can be pretty stomach-churning and gag-inducing. But catching salmon in deep water is not that easy. Number 7. A lion pride attacks an elephant at night. The elephants dominate the waterhole, but as night falls, the balance of power will shift. You know what's nice about the Lion King? We hear about the circle of life, but mostly get to skip over the part where Mufasa and company actually acted out. Because really, it would be pretty traumatizing to see Simba's entire family chasing a terrified elephant through the bush at night. In the darkness, the tables turn. 
fact that this particular scene was filmed in darkness using night vision just adds that perfect Blair Witch vibe. Taking the entire scene from run-of-the-mill wildlife program type of grizzly to downright nightmarish. There are 30 of them, and they're specialist elephant hunters. The blackened eyes of these lions as they chow down on their prey, in a lightning storm no less, makes for some seriously ghoulish imagery, and makes the gore all the more hard to swallow. Well, not for them, obviously. This elephant will feed the whole pride for at least a week. Number six, wolves hunt caribou. Wolves. For them, finding food on the plains is an even greater challenge. It's never easy to watch animals hunt. It's fascinating, but in today's world, where we've done everything possible to distance the meat we consume from the cute creatures we see in cartoons and recreate as stuffed animals, it's easy to trick ourselves into believing that animals live in harmony. In the very real world of planet Earth, however, interspecies hunting isn't sugar-coated. It's captured via breathtaking overhead camera shots in all its Darwinian honesty. The caribou are close. Animals don't just hunt one another, they target the weakest and most vulnerable type of prey, which often means the young. The wolf panics the herd, and the weak and young are singled out. As a mercy to viewers, the camera cuts away before blood is drawn. But as soon as the wolf catches this young caribou, the violence is implied. Number five. Fur seals go after king penguins. Fur seals normally live on krill, but these have now acquired an unexpected taste for blubber-rich penguins. Speaking of animals we often think of as cute and cuddly, if you haven't seen Planet Earth in a few years, you've likely forgotten about this particular segment. Sure, seals eat fish. Everyone knows that. If animated films have taught us anything, it's that unless fish are the heroes of the story, you never anthropomorphize them or get attached to them, because they are going to get eaten. But penguins? One super cute animal brutally attacking another super cute animal? Talk about traumatizing. The seal could easily lose an eye. The only safe way to grab a penguin is from behind, and the birds are well aware of that. We don't see blood, but there's enough violence to make up for it. Can we switch back to videos of seals climbing into boats and making puppy dog eyes now? <laughs> Aww, that's better. Wait, no, why? Both animals are clumsy on this terrain, but the penguin has the more to lose. Number four, Nile crocodiles ambushing wildebeest. Lines of wildebeest are on the march. Life is hard for a wildebeest. Evil, power-hungry lions are always manipulating you and your herd, making you an accessory to murder in the process. For these thirsty herds, the rivers are not only a vital source of drinking water, but also dangerous obstacles. Every time you try to get a drink of water, it could be your last. The force behind a crocodile's jaws is tremendous, which, paired with the speed of its strike, makes for a truly devastating combination. A peaceful moment of refreshment at the watering hole can give way to sheer chaos in a matter of seconds. The crocodile's jaws snap tight like a steel trap. Once they have a hold, they never let go. The flailing of limbs, the snapping of razor-sharp teeth, the frantic scramble to safety. Planet Earth lets you soak in this picturesque whirlwind of panic, a moving painting in stunning slow motion. Here, yeah, only the narrowest line separates life from death. Number three, polar bear attacks walrus colony. Walruses are the largest seals in the world. They weigh over a ton and are armed with tusks a meter long. It's rare to feel sympathy for the predator while watching a hunt take place. But as a hungry polar bear makes a desperate move against a colony of walruses, your heart goes out to this particular carnivore in need. The walruses sense that they're in danger. Maybe it's the bleak picture of a polar bear's existence as explored throughout the series. Maybe it's seeing this polar bear slowly curl into a ball and give up, despite still being within reach of his prey. Whatever the reason, you feel for him. He just doesn't seem capable of breaking through that thick skin. It slips from his grasp. 
In the end, the blood that's shed is his own, a devastating result of the sharp tusks with which his prey defended themselves. So severe that he can barely walk. Number two, cannibal chimps. In their search for food, chimpanzees move effortlessly between the forest floor and the canopy. Planet of the Apes. It's inspired fear of a coordinated chimp attack across the globe for decades, as cinema goers have witnessed one monkey-dominated world after another with each franchise reboot. But nothing is more unnerving than discovering that chimps are already partaking in coordinated hunts, not against humans, but their own kind. The chimp militia are now at the very edge of their territory. All need to be on maximum alert. It's bad enough to see just how vicious and determined a group of monkeys can be when armed with fatal intent, but watching them eat a fellow chimp is truly chill-inducing. Clearly, cannibalism is no less shocking in chimps than in humans. The battle won, a grisly scene unfolds. The lesson? Chimps might like to monkey around, but when it comes to figs, they're all business. Figs are a vital part of a chimpanzee's diet, and some just can't seem to get enough of them. And those who stand between them and territorial expansion pay in pounds of flesh, literally. It may simply be a chance for some extra protein. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. It will be another year before the cubs can hunt for themselves. Not all food is stored. Some is needed right now. She has seven hungry cubs to feed. Number one, great white shark. The strike of a great white shark lasts a mere second. If there is one scene from planet Earth with lasting cultural significance, it's this one. Even people involved in making the series have called it their most memorable moment. What wildlife program before this one could make carnage appear so breathtakingly beautiful? Slowed down 40 times, this great white shark leaping out of the water to catch a seal is nature's equivalent to a car wreck. Terrifying to behold, but impossible to look away from. Slowing it down 40 times reveals the technique and immense strength of this massive predator. This unforgettable scene has inspired countless imitators through similar scenes in shark-centric documentaries. It's a true testament to the monumental influence planet Earth has had on the world of animal videography and the potential for wildlife documentaries to push the limits, even if it means getting a little bloody. Once the seals have finished breeding, the giant sharks will move on. Do you agree with our list? Which scene of carnage from planet Earth was your most memorable one? To surprise their prey, crocodiles must strike with lightning speed. For more grisly but cool top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Unable to feed, this bear will not survive.